Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. They've got an awesome video to go over with you today in regards to the Enphase IQ 5P battery. Yes, I have one right here next to me. Enphase shipped us out one, so that way we could talk about it and go over some of the benefits of this battery compared to their previous generation and the advantages this battery has over the previous generation. Now, it's important to note that Enphase also did a white paper that I did a video on that you're gonna to wanna to try and check out because it talks about how the Enphase ecosystem can save you more money under the new solar building program here in the state of California. That's also known as NEM3. Now, if you're interested in getting Enphase batteries retrofitted to your existing Enphase system, or you haven't made the switch to clean renewable energy, be sure to request a quote from us by using the link down in the description below. We really do make the process easy and affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy and become grid independent, essentially, now that you need this battery paired with your solar system. And of course, while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's talk about the IQ5P battery, which is kind of big, in my opinion. It's actually a pretty big battery, but it's really not that big. So it's about 20 inches wide, 22 inches wide, and it stands about 39 inches tall. This is with the cover on. It all comes in one package, which the previous generation didn't have uh, the cover included because technically the IQ3T battery had two SKUs. You could either buy it as three units, which would be called the IQ10T, or you could buy it as an individual unit, which was just the IQ3T. So there was two different covers that you had to configure it with. With the new 5P, it's just one size fits all in this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. It's pretty straightforward to unclip this. What's really nice that Enphase changed from the previous generation is now you can put conduit on both sides. So you can see these little cutouts right here in the cover and that allows us to enter one side of the battery, go through it, wire it up, which we're gonna go over, and then come out the other side to go to another battery, because we can connect multiple of these units together to then back up your home or use for self-consumption, and then it's tied to your Enphase combiner box. So I'm gonna set this aside. It's really nice, really well engineered, in my opinion. Now, what you have here is the Enphase IQ5P battery just the real battery, that's what's going on. So down below is the actually battery packs within this. So this is all the DC power down below in this particular area. We have the on off button. So they've changed it from it being a knob to a button on here that also lights up. And then what we have is the microinverters. This is a big step up for Enphase on these microinverters. These are IQ8Ds. These are technically dual microinverters. They were originally intended for a commercial application to connect two modules together and they've changed it and reutilized them for the battery. So there are six of these in here and this thing puts out 3.84 kilowatts of power continuously. It can surge up to 32 amps and has a LRA rating, so if you wanted to start an air conditioner, this can do 48 amps for a large load, but you need two of them if you want to start an air conditioner. You could start around a three ton, three and a half ton air conditioner, no problem. If you did a five ton, you probably would need a soft starter if you only did two of these batteries. Now it's important to note the battery pack of this enclosure is only five kilowatt hours, so you need multiple batteries to scale up your energy storage capacity. So two of them, you're gonna have 10 kilowatt hours, and then you end up with 7.6 kilowatts of power output. That is a lot of power, considering how small this is in reality. Now, one thing Enphase really changed that is nice to note is inside this enclosure is the wiring harnesses for the battery and the communication modules, because this is now a hardwired battery for communication rather than the previous generation, which was wireless. And they ran into some issues with that wireless technology that they were developing, and they ultimately decided to go back to the drawing board and reconfigure it for hardwired communication. And supposedly, we haven't experienced it firsthand yet because we haven't installed any of them yet, but supposedly it's made a significant improvement for the commissioning time of getting the system up and running 
during the installation. Now, that may not impact you as the end user, you know, the homeowner getting this system, but for us, if it takes us two, three, four hours to turn on a battery, that's really time consuming and obviously we have to account for that cost. So if we're able to turn on a system in less than an hour, which that tends to be the goal for most of the battery manufacturers, then awesome. We are able to reduce our cost to you as well. So what are some other cool things to point out about this battery? If we kind of turn it around, so Enphase did something that I didn't expect them to do. And you see back here, there's these knockouts in the back. And these knockouts allow us to install this for new construction. And we could put Romex through these, through the walls, and run them from battery to battery so there's no conduit connections. Makes for a really, really clean installation. There is no other battery on the market with that. I haven't seen, and that's pretty crazy that they put these knockouts back here. It's not just on the sides, but they put it behind. And we've done quite a few Enphase battery systems for new construction projects for homeowners that were building their first home. We did the Enphase Micros and, and then we did the batteries for the battery backup aspect. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to request your quote. They're also using lithium iron phosphate, which is one of the best chemistries in my opinion for residential batteries because it's the safest that you can really get on your home. And it is UL 9540A certified, so it has passed the large scale fire test. That means these batteries can be installed up to three inches apart. And if something did happen, say someone shot at this thing for some reason, guess what? It's not gonna catch on fire. It's not gonna catch your house on fire either because it's passed the large scale fire test. And that means that it doesn't ignite on fire and it doesn't propagate any fires. So you are in the clear in that regards. And any of you in the jurisdictions watching that, I hope you pay attention to UL 9540A because I think it's a really important certification that all batteries need to have when you want to incorporate them with your purchase. But besides that, this unit comes with a 15 year warranty at 60% uh, retention at the end of the 15 years minimum and that's about 6,000 cycles. So Enphase has extended that warranty over to their IQ3 and 3T batteries that are still being installed. They do need to be new installations. So if you previously had an IQ3 or 10 battery installed, you wouldn't be eligible for that 15 year warranty. But it's good to know that Enphase has extended the warranty and that's probably because they know the battery chemistry and the technology that they're implementing is rock solid and it's easily gonna last more than 15 years. Now I think it's cool to note that since this is a dual microinverter that we didn't have before, the previous generation viewed an IQ8X and that was a high voltage microinverter. Previous generations of the, of the X model from Enphase was used for the Panasonic HIT panels, which were high voltage panels. Now that they're moving over to this dual micro for the battery, that means that 8X microinverter is going to make its way to the market for the REC modules that are high voltage. So we will be able to offer our customers the newer REC Alpha Pure Rs and Pure RX, which I did cover the Pure RX from the RE Plus Expo. So be sure to check that video out if you haven't already. So a lot of great things are coming. And then when you factor this technology in with Enphase's ecosystem and monitoring to maximize your savings under the solar billing program, you're at a win-win scenario. This system will just automatically do what it needs to do to give you the lowest electric bill day in and day out, every month, every year, until you move. <laughs> so that's all I got for this week's video. Hopefully you found it helpful and really cool to see the scale of this battery standing next to me. And if you're interested in making the switch to clean renewable energy, be sure to request your quote by using the link down in the description below. When it comes to solar and batteries, we know our stuff. So use that link, request your quote. We'd love to have you as a customer. I'll see you in the next one.